Today we are demonstrating the use of Aeromarine 321 epoxy as a concrete coating. Using epoxy as a concrete coating provides a very durable, chemical resistant, water resistant, and decorative coating for many concrete um, applications. Concrete driveways and concrete garages are one of the most common. You'll see here that I have um, Aeromarine 300 epoxy and 21 in gray. I am going to mix that today and apply a primer coat to the concrete slab that we have here. The uh, 321 in gray follows the uh, same mix ratio as uh, standard 321. It is a two to one mix ratio. As we have mentioned before, uh, when you mix the epoxy, you always want to use a two container process or a double mix process. Um, you want to scrape the sides of the original container and the bottom, ensuring that you remove as much product as possible from the sides. The product will cling to the sides of the container. If you skip this process and mix in one container, it's possible that you'll have unmixed product, small, minute amounts of unmixed product. At best, this will leave small veins of variations in the gloss. At worst, it will leave veins of uncured tacky epoxy on your garage floor. So after mixing for two or three minutes, we transfer the contents into the second container. Clean mixing stick, mix again, 30 seconds to a minute is plenty. Now we're going to take the mixed epoxy, transfer it to a uh, rolling pan so that we may roll the epoxy onto the concrete. Um, when using a roller with uh, epoxy, it's best to use a short nap roller. Uh, this is so that um, the epoxy, which is more viscous than paint, uh, does not pull up and pull out the uh, nap in the roller. Okay, first coat is done. Um, Work life on 321 is usually 30 to 40 minutes. Bear in mind that the concrete slab acts as a heat sink. So you may see mm, an hour, depending on ambient temperature, before the epoxy starts to set. Uh, what we're going to do now is allow this coat to set. Um, if we've got sufficient coverage, if it looks good to us, then we're gonna go ahead and move forward with this coat. If not, we're gonna add a second coat. Bear in mind that you should see 200 square feet of coverage per gallon. You should monitor this while you're going. If you're not getting 200 square feet of coverage per gallon, you're putting on too much epoxy per coat and you're wasting your epoxy. So we're going to allow this to um, set to the point that it's tacky and then we will broadcast the cutter flakes on top of that. Okay, our second coat of epoxy is now starting to get tacky. We've applied this several hours ago and it's just tacky to the touch. Uh, the reason we want to do this before we distribute or broadcast our color flakes on the epoxy is it's easier to walk on when it's a little bit, it's less slippery um, than when it's freshly applied. Um, application of the color flakes is kind of up to you. You can do it very lightly, you can do it very heavily. Okay, we're looking good here. Um, we are, by the way, using uh, quarter inch uh, color flakes. Um, these come in eighth inch, quarter inch, half inch, um, also come in um, one thirty-second of an inch if you're looking for a finish that looks very much like granite. Um, once we're done with this, we're going to allow this to set up overnight to fully cure and then tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to sweep the loose flakes off of it and we're going to apply our top coat. Several hours ago, we applied the color flakes to our second coat of 321. Uh, the 321 is now tack free. Um, the color flakes are, um, uh, have, have bonded to the 321. We put the original prime coat on with gray 300 resin with the 21 hardener. We're gonna do the top coat now with clear 321. 
we have started mixing that here. Okay, that's our first coat of the clear top coat. Uh, we will wait until this gets just past the point that it's tacky, where it's safe to walk on it again. That's six to eight hours from now, or let it go overnight. Put another coat on tomorrow morning. You're going to put on two coats of top coat um, to go along with two coats of primer. That's four coats total on your garage. Um, once the final top coat goes on, you don't want to drive on it for 48 hours. You don't want to walk on it or let it get wet for 24 hours. Um, that's it. You can find out more information about this on our website at uh, aeromarineproducts.com.